Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. I'm MTG Jedi, and I have some very critical, important information for you, okay? Yes, we all know that Yoshi the Drunkard Fragment event is going on right now. They tell us what the schedule of events is right here, okay? Now, I assume most of you are going for this event. You're going to try to get Yoshi. If you are not, get on it, okay? You will regret not going for him. He's going to be critical to your success in Faction Wars for the Shadowkin, okay? Now, also, depending on where you are in the game, he could be very useful as well. So, is this clickable? That's sad that he's not clickable from here. But, you know, that's okay. Um, I will, I'll show you why he is such a critical part of your account here in a moment. But right now, I want to point out the events that are coming up, okay? Uh, this should go live today, 321. And as of right now, the second Dungeon Divers event is about to start, 322 to 327, okay? Now, also going on right now is the Fire Knight Tournament. After that, the Ice Golem Tournament is going to start. I'm not sure why, <laughs> why the order is like that in this list, but whatever. What I want to point out is this tournament right here, this Spider Tournament. Um, you need to minimize your investment in all of these tournaments so that you can maximize your investment in the spider tournament, okay? Get the fragments from the tournaments to help you out there, absolutely, but don't go crazy spending your resources because this is the one you want to focus on. This spider tournament right here, and I'm going to explain why, and this is crucial for the longevity of your account. Otherwise, you could put yourself in a bad spot going forward. Okay, so let's bring up Yoshi, and let me tell you again why he's so good. So if we take a look at Yoshi here, okay, he Number one, he looks cool. I like him. I think that he is neat. When you're fighting with him, you see like his awesome hat and his giant weapon, his cool um, Japanese robes, Asian robes here. I think he's a very cool looking champion, okay? But besides that, he has a cool passive that when the enemies get buffed, he gets a, a turn meter fill. That's good for every area in the game, okay? I don't think it's going to be game breaking or format shifting or meta changing or anything like that, but it will be good. Okay. Here is the ability that's really going to help you out. Accuracy is one of the hardest things for people to achieve on their accounts. And this doubles your accuracy A 50. Well, not, not really, but um, it'll, it'll add a lot to it. Okay. So uh, it will give you a 50% increase on your accuracy, 50%. And you get an increased attack, which, for, for the record, an increased attack bonus really helps you do a lot more damage. It really does. You also have a chance of placing a true fear on enemies for one turn. That is good crowd control. This is like the same kind of thing that Mashald has, and we know him to be an incredible champion. Admittedly, this is not that low, not that high, but you're if you invest books in him, which is I'm on the fence about. Um, if you invest books in him, that will go to seventy five percent. Over here, this if they have an increased attack, itchy ear, then it could be a hundred percent. All right. This is a very good ability, very good ability. This is going to help you in hitting your abilities and controlling the enemies. Now, you also can put decrease accuracy and HP burn, which is very good against bosses for, um, <laughs> for anywhere, really. Spider Dungeon, Doom Tower, Doom Tower bosses, Doom Tower waves, um, Faction Wars, Faction Wars bosses. I mean, it's good, okay? Yes, it's two times at random. That's why it's good against bosses, okay? It'll be fine against the waves, but not the best. But the HP burn will help. And then this chance to stun is 
that's important. It really is. I mean, I think maybe it's worth putting a stun set on him. Because then you would have a bigger chance to stun here. You have some random attacks that have chances to stun. Okay. This doesn't have an attack and there are no AoEs. So maybe the stun set would be um, unimpressive on him. Maybe you should just go for stats over sets. I just noticed something, guys. He, he's not wearing shoes. <laughs> he doesn't have shoes on. Why? He forgot them at the bar. He forgot them at the pub. Either way, this is a good kit, and you should be going for this guy. Now, what am I saying about Spider? Okay, what am I saying about Spider? Let's go do a run for Spider. I have a quick little Spider team here. So let's just do a run for Spider. And after I've maxed out, like after I've got my fragments for the tournaments, you know where I'm heading is right back in here to Spider to spend the rest of my energy for the day. Okay. I haven't gone and invested any kind of crazy numbers or anything uh, for the last Dungeon Divers event. I did put a bunch of energy into Spider that um, after I got my fragments. Okay. Now, this is exactly what you should be doing as well. And maybe we'll see here. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll, I'll show you. Okay. But you should be focused on what happened. Am I missing a piece of gear or something? We should be dead by now. They should all be dead. This should be over. Okay, I'm going to have to go. I must have taken a piece of gear from somebody important or something. The spider's not even supposed to get a turn. I mean, I don't think we can fail here. But we. <laughs> this is normally a 14-second spider team. And we're going on 48 seconds here. That is very odd. Okay, well, I've been, you know, trying to maximize my account, moving some gear around, and I'm guessing that we're just missing a piece of gear on somebody to make this run smoothly. Unless we didn't land the decreased uh, defense or weaken, I guess that could have been a thing. I'm not sure. Either way, I'm not going to cut this out because, you know, however long it takes you to farm this is fine. Do we need to take this off auto? Oh no, there we go. Second Holy Sword from uh, Septimus there. And they're targeting Bad L, which is perfect. He is Force. It allows these bad RNG runs to still be successful. So I don't know what's going on here, but we're going to investigate. There we go. Okay. What is this? This is a Skinwalker's Amulet. Man, I probably have 50 of those. I definitely don't need that, especially not the rare one. But you know what I don't have 50 of? I do not have 50 of anything related to the Shadowkin. Now, you see this awesome Gens in here, and there will be a guide coming on him, so make sure you're subbed to the channel so you get that notification. But you see here, I have three rings. I have a four-star amulet from the 3v3 shop, and I have actually some decent banners. They're not great, but they're decent, okay? Um, that's it. That's it. And that's because I've been investing my time here, okay? Whenever you get these new Shadowkin, whether it's Yoshi the Drunkard or any of the other ones, if you're lucky enough to get a legendary like I did with Genzin, okay? Whoever you get, you're going to need jewelry for them. And you don't have it. And there's not an easy way to get it. You're going to need to go do runs, okay? Now, I highly suggest if you are in gold or silver come in here and start buying these we got a high elves and we got a demon spawn okay neither of those all right but that's okay all right um i need to get some battles in i dropped down to yellow okay we need to get back up in the green so <clears throat> we definitely need to do that today that's on my list of things to do so, here's the thing, guys. All of these Shadowkin 
that are coming out, you're going to want to level some of them up. If nothing else is for just the faction wars, okay? Personally, all the epics seem decent to me. The rares, they're mediocre. All the legendaries are decent or good, okay? And you're going to need accessories for them. So you should be throwing your extra resources into farming for this faction. That way, whenever you get one of those champions, then you will actually have accessories to put on them. So that is why we made a big deal with the thumbnail today, because focus on that. When you need to get rid of some extra energy, come in there and use your your team. Use your team. What did we screw up here, guys? What did we screw up? I don't know. Everything looks good. Use your extra energy on the spider. On the spider. Defense banner. Oh, because it has the attack substats. I do not know what we could have messed up here. We got to run this again, obviously. We got to run this again. Like, did we just get like a random resist on like the decreased defense or something? I don't know. Let, let, let's do another run. We're, we're quick into this video here. We're not too time consuming. Let's try to figure it out. I mean, this is going to happen on your account as well. I mean, you'll have like random things that you need to figure out why they're working or not working. Okay, there's the decreased defense in Weekend, the big smack from Septimus, big smack from Royal Guard, and then we must have just got a random resist on both the decreased defense and the Weekend. So, either way, you're going to have to do enough runs in this dungeon that you just get some accessories. And that's going to take a thousand energy or something. Now, if you're early in the Spider Dungeon, like, if you're back here on stage 10 or whatever, I mean, don't don't pressure yourself to put all the resources in here. Pressure yourself to progress your account. You know, get to stage 20. Don't worry about, I mean, this is only if you're regularly beating stage 20, then come in here and farm it. If you're earlier game than that, then you should be focused on leveling your account in order to beat it. You're not worried about things like beating the Shadowkin faction. That'll, you'll, that'll come later in your account. All right, if this was helpful to you, hit the like button. If you're not subscribed, it's free. Hit that sub button. It would help me out. It will help you out because then you'll be able to see my future videos. I have some other things to do on my account today. Thank you for watching. And I will have more awesome videos for you coming soon on the channel. Thank you so much. Have a great day.